All right, so maybe you're seeing an error like this. <clears throat> it says this version of CLI is only compatible with Angular versions um, 13.0, but Angular blank was found instead. Or maybe you are getting this error, which says type error f events is not a constructor. Um, Okay, down down here, or perhaps you see this as well. Your global Angular CLI version 13.3 is greater than your local version. Um, so any of those things are signs um, that you, um, actually, I honestly don't know what is causing this issue. I, I, I guess it's a type error. It seems to happen every time you run npm install, but I'm gonna real quick, hopefully real quick, show you how to, how I've been working around that. So the first thing you wanna do is run npm audit fix force, okay? And that should get away get rid of this f's events it shouldn't give us this f's events is not a constructor um, error after that so let's see if that's the case try to run ng serve um, it gives me that that error that I just showed you at the beginning and so let's see it shouldn't give me the same error should say something slightly different yep so now it's giving me this error okay but this is actually an improvement from the last thing um, and so now what we do is we run ng update <clears throat> okay and so what you want to do now is you want to run git add and then git commit now I wish I had a more um, better way but I have to do this like every time I use npm install so basically after you uh, commit that you go up here you copy this and and to be clear I got this from running the ng update command so then you go up here you uh, copy this, and here is a very important part. Um, you type in at the end, dash dash force. From, you know, globally from my computer, but so to prove that it did something, run ng update again. And now you should see, let's see, previously it said we are updating to 9.19, <clears throat> and now as you can see, we're updating to 10, so we're just gonna repeat that process, okay? And then you can do ng update, and it should say, all right, so like I said before, you just take that, boom, and dash dash force. Okay, <clears throat> and so that I think should be working. Okay, so now to see if it worked, you just do ng update, and it, the last one said it was, so now it should say like 10 to 11. Yep, so 10 to 11. So now you just redo that again. And some people are probably saying, why don't you just like 
I tried a whole bunch of other things. I tried to just do run like the general update command. That didn't work for me. Um, the only thing that worked is what I'm doing right now. So, so it should say 12, yep. So git add, git commit. <coughs> Dash dash force. Don't want to forget that dash dash force. Now at some point it wants you to yeah, leave off the number because it's like the most updated version I guess. And uh, there's one more thing at the very end you have to do besides this repetitive sequence of tasks. There's one more thing. So now when you do ng serve, it will give you an error. And it says something about this AOT here. So what you need to do for that is go to your, where is it? Here it is, Angular JSON, AOT, change this right here, the AOT. So it should be Angular JSON, um, and then underneath architect, I guess within the architect object, uh, within the build object, within the options object, there's uh, a key. AOT and you want to change that for whatever reason to true. Save that. Okay. And now you can see it's generating the browser application bundles, which it wasn't doing that before. Cool. And here we go. Oh, it just popped up. Here it is. Yep. So now it worked. Hope that helps. Um, just follow exactly what I did and hopefully it'll help you. All right. Have a good day.